In two new evidence-based guidelines, the American College of Physicians provides suggestions for the diagnosis and treatment of patients with an inflammation of the intestine known as diverticulitis. The guidelines, published in Annals of Internal Medicine, address those with uncomplicated intestinal inflammation of the condition and those whose condition is complicated and more severe. Patients who are believed to have uncomplicated diverticulitis should be diagnosed with a CT scan while patients found to have complicated diverticulitis are at increased risk for colorectal cancer and should be referred for colonoscopy if they have not recently had one. In addition to using a CT scan for those with uncomplicated diverticulitis, ACP offers these suggestions. Once diagnosed, most patients with localized inflammation can be treated in an outpatient setting. And although the traditional management includes antibiotics, ACP's review of the literature found that evidence did not support their use for uncomplicated diverticulitis and suggest treatment without the use of antibiotics. Colonoscopy is suggested in the second guideline for some patients with more complicated diverticulitis once their symptoms have cleared. After an initial episode of complicated diverticulitis, ACP suggests that clinicians refer patients who have not had recent colonoscopy to get one so that colorectal cancer, while rare, can be ruled out for their symptoms. Another medication, mesalamine, is addressed but not recommended. Evidence reviewed showed mesalamine resulted in no difference in the risk of recurrent diverticulitis compared to placebo and may not improve symptoms. When it comes to surgical options to prevent recurrent diverticulitis, ACP recommends a team-based approach. Clinicians should take a shared decision-making process with patients, which should include the primary care physician, gastroenterologist, and surgeon. For more information, go to acponline.org.